Hello, hello, everybody. Hey, hey, hey. Didn't get the win, but I'm feeling good. Let's get some questions rolling. Thank you guys for being here, by the way. Hey, thank you, Lloyd. First off, I'm Drew. Um, Drew, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, brother. I met you a few times, but... Uh, <laughs> you know, his head yeah, gets rattled well, a little bit. a few punches before, but yeah. <laughs> um, I just want to say... Man, you were really landing that uppercut. Was that something you're working in training? That was one of, the, one of your most successful strikes of the fight. You yeah, landed that a few times successfully. There's a lot of a lot of things landing in there, but you know, with a long, gangly guy like him, and he's tough, and you know, he came in with a good game plan. I should have like listened to his pre-interview when he was like, oh, "I'm gonna stick to the bases." Basing him, stay back, stay away from the power, because you know I was coming at him. Um, much respect to him for like holding it in and he took those shots I mean he was taking them and uh, I was landing them um, but uh, it was it something that we worked on yeah uppercuts are always really good in uh, MMA a lot of people put their head down to try to get a takedown he wasn't going for a takedown but I was catching him with his head down so yeah it's something that we worked on we work on a lot of stuff at the dog pound uh, I would consider the best team in the state but, you know, we got a lot of competitors as it showed tonight. What up, dude? Awesome hey, fight, man. Hey, the bus. Hey, baby. Good hey. to see you. Jake with the weekly bus. Um, it was an awesome fight out there. You were landing some huge power shots. We did hear your coach uh, hollering quite a bit to quit loading up his heart on just the one and trying to throw a combo in there. Did you kind of get, did you, what happened there? Did you, you kind of get away from doing that? Was that something you were working on is running like a two, you know, two or three shot combo in there? What was kind of going on there? There's a lot of puzzles in the, uh, in the landing combos because, you know, he was uh, keeping his guard tight and uh, catching a lot of punches. He's got long arms, so he's doing a really good job of catching a lot of punches. Wasn't getting anything over on the side on him, like, because, uh, you know, I kept, like, shooting one down the middle. The middle would land, and you would think you would fake a shoot to the middle and try to go with a big overhand, but he was not letting me hit him. Well, I didn't, I don't think I got an overhand on him all night. So, um, I mean, he, he, man, yo. He's been training with some smart guys. You know, they, they had a good game plan. Um, you know, it went, the, it went his way this time. Uh, but, you know, you know, every now and then, you know, I'll get my way in there. I was getting my way in there a couple times, but he got his way more than I did tonight. So my hat's off to him. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing him fight more. Yeah. Well, from Hopefully what I he'll fight me again. Yeah, hell yeah. From what I've seen, uh, Dog Pound uh, has some pretty smart people over there too. So keep it up, man. Thank you, thank you. What's up, Lloyd? What's up? Um, just first MMA fight in almost eight years. So just how did it feel, kind of being in there, kind of going with the flow because you've done bare knuckle boxing. But what was it like doing the full range of motion? Wow, I mean. I think he only went for like one takedown, so it was kind of like, <laughs> I mean, it was fairly similar, but, uh, you know, he was backing up a lot. There's a lot of kicks he was throwing in there. I thought I was landing some kicks too, but, uh, you know, he was doing good, he was a good job. He was landing his jab, he was working well for him. And I kept coming in, um, and that's, you know, that's why I got hit by him, that's why I got these shiners. So, um, I mean, like, my hat's off to the kid. Um, I mean, I, I really want another round. I, I would have loved if he would have been like, okay, we couldn't figure it out. Like the BKFC, let's go one more round. You know, that would have been, that would have been what's up, but you know, for all the marbles. But, you know, he put it on the line there. I, thought, I appreciate him like, you know, swinging with me that last little bit. I tried to like get him to like, you know, stop running back and like point to the center of the ring. Because I figured that's what he's going to try to do. He's pushing me against the cage to take me down. But he really didn't push me against the cage that much. And I was kind of thrown off by that. But, uh, yeah. yeah. I hope I answered your question. I kind of went off on No, that. you're good. Yeah, you yeah. did for sure. And then to speak to just fighting in front of the hometown crowd again, right? You finally got that feeling again. I think you said 09 was the last time you did it. Just yeah. what was it like fighting here in Missoula again? Oh, man. I love, I love Missoula. I love my hometown. Like... Um, it, it was great to fight here. It was great to fight in front of all my friends and family. I mean, a little disappointed that I wasn't able to bring home the, the victory. Uh, but, man, um, this, uh, this state 
has really uh, made me who I am. And even though I wasn't born here, like it has adopted me like I was born here. I love the people here, you know, go Grizz. Uh, didn't get it done today, uh, but you know, uh, they know I'm in there to fight and I'm glad they got entertained because it did seem like it was a good fight. Uh, I wasn't watching, but I was definitely participating, so. <laughs> Hey there, Lloyd. This is Tylen from the Weekly Bust, you I know. Mean. Hey, Bust. what's up, my man? Yeah, um, I felt privileged and honored to see you go to war today, especially take it to the distance. Um, I want to change gears here from Fusion a little bit. You are revitalizing your name. Everyone likes to call you a pioneer in Montana in the fight world. I think you have revitalized who you are in Lloyd Mix's presence in Montana as a fighter again. You have gone to war with Dallas Davison. You went to war with Gage Saunders. I think your name is extremely relevant in Montana's fight world again. And I have a privilege of covering you again. So I want to know who you think you have lined out or who would you like to call out for BKFC? We would love to see you fight again. Oh, BKFC. Yes, man. sir. Uh, anything goes in BKFC. All it takes is one. And uh, I mean, that happened in the first, and all it takes is one mistake too, you know, uh, there's some tough guys in BKFC and uh, you know, Nate Shook gave me a call. And uh, I mean, I want to fight at my actual weight over there. I've been fighting at uh, 170 mm -hmm. and a heavier weights right now, but um, like, uh, it's not really my tried and true weight class. So I, I, I told Nate I'd like to fight at 155 or 160 at a different weight, but uh, you know, whoever they send out at me, you know, I love the BKFC, they, they're doing a great thing. And anybody who watches Bare Knuckle, like you can't watch it for too long and not get addicted to it. So uh, it's, it's my new thing. I mean, I, I would have loved to fight Gage tonight in a bare knuckle fight because uh, one of those punches would have sat him down, hopefully without those pads on. Uh, but he was a tough cookie. Um, I even hit him with a knee or two. Um, I don't know, BKFC, you know, I like, I like any matchup in BKFC. Of course, I don't want to fight Montana kids too much. They're going to, you know, drain my life away because there's some tough kids here. Uh, and I think, I think tonight proved that. I think uh, Sean O'Malley losing a lot of fights when he was here proves that. And uh, Montana's really like the, the